First of all, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues who are contributing to this work. My student, Yun Tae Poon, and my senior and boss, Yu Jun <laughs> uh, Dr. Kim Liu from JPL, uh, Professor Ming Na Zhou from National Central, Central University, and his assistant, Rebecca. And this is the talk of intensity. So we would like to share with you what we observe in the Western North Pacific, how these ocean preconditions are important in the intensity evolution. So this is an outline of my talk. We have four parts. The first part is introduction to highlight why it is important to study this ocean precondition. We will use the case of Nargis, the killer cycle Nargis, as an example. The second part will, of course, will be how all these ocean preconditions, in particular, we observe warm ocean eddy and how it interacts with typhoon Morocco and how its possible impact on precipitation. The third part is to share with you how we observe from satellite observations and some in situ new ocean measurements to see Western North Pacific is a complex ocean with large variability. So we will share a little bit more on the issue on TC forecast. Lastly, we will give conclusions and explain, uh, share a little bit more on the ITOP experiment, which is a large field experiment this summer between U uh, US ONR and Taiwan National Science Council. So, First of all, with all the meteorologists here, I want to say that ocean is not a sufficient condition, but it's a necessary condition. Okay, so otherwise, people will get angry if I only talk about ocean. So, factors affecting cyclone's intensity. Ocean is, is a necessary condition. This improves sea surface temperature, of course, but more importantly, subsurface conditions, which is the upper ocean heat content. You have the ocean, this is the ocean depth profile here. We are concerned about this heat content here because not only the sea surface temperature, but how deep the subsurface warm layer and heat content are, are critical for intensification. So this will be the focus. And so this will be the focus here. And these are the many studies supporting this um, ocean's condition. So this is the case of killer cyclone Nargis, the 2008. This was the most damaging cyclone of almost of, um, in the recent two decades. There were more than 130,000 deaths in Myanmar. And this was a very catastrophic event. Why? It was a rapid intensification event just before the landfall. It made landfall on 2nd of May at 06 Z, but before then, it went through a very rapid intensification period from category one to four within one day. Within 24 hours, it went through a rapid intensification period. So this was very, very difficult for forecast, of course, and, very, and left with very little warning time. So you had a storm suddenly intensified to category four and immediately made landfall. So this was very catastrophic. And we observed what happened. It went through a special ocean precondition. This is an observation from the satellite altimeters, sea surface high anomaly. We can see that this rapid intensification took place just on the warm ocean features. These warm ocean features implies that they are very deep, warm subsurface layer and very high heat content. You can see that. As it went through this warm feature, it rapidly intensified, and it dropped a little bit here as it went past this non-feature region, and it went pick up again at this warm feature, and bang, it made landfall. So this was a very, um, this precondition here is a very sad precondition, which is very strategic for a storm. And we can do the flux calculation. This is air sea fluxes. This is, by the way, this is calculated based on um, running ocean immersion experiments and with flux estimation from the sea blast parameters. We can see that with the warm ocean feature, we can have so much fluxes during this rapid intensification period. Without 
this is uh, run without the ocean feature. We can see that the fluxes are very little, only about 200 watts per meter square. Totally not sufficient to make rapid intensification. So in this case, ocean supply play a very crucial part because without that, there won't be enough energy to supply for the rapid intensification. So this is the important to show it to you the importance of ocean precondition. And by the way, the green curve are the shear. The shear was also favorable. But the key point to make here is that without these ocean features here, the rapid intensification will be unlikely to take place because there will be not enough flux for intensification, which is the energy supply. So move on to the case of Morocco. This is Taiwan here. This is Morocco. Actually, it went past by a warm ocean eddy, a very well-defined warm ocean just before it made landfall. In fact, it intensified to its peak after passing through this warm ocean eddy. This was the peak at category two. And we can see that this is the subsurface thermal structure that in this warm ocean eddy region, it has much more heat content and much deeper warm layer. How does it impact? We, again, we calculated this is the ocean mixed layer model. We found that experiment, we found that with the ocean eddies, we have very little cooling. So the surface temperature can be very much maintained and there will be much more flux supply. And this is an observation from SSMI. So this is the point about this asymmetric structure everybody's talking about. From our observation, we found that this asymmetric structure this was, this was a control from uh, altimeter. This is, a con uh, this is the warm eddy position. Before entering this warm eddy, you can see that Morocco was quite a small, the rain structure was much smaller. And you can have, see this enhancement as you encounter the, the warm eddy. And as you move into the warm eddy, as you can tell that within the warm eddy region, the convection um, activities develops well. And it grows bigger and it grows much bigger. So we observed this asymmetric structure before big landfall. Actually, it was developed on the ocean over this warm eddy before it became land, main landfall. So this seems to suggest that these eddy are helping the convection to establish at the south of Morocco in providing a favorable environment. So, and then, this is the famous figure everybody is showing that it may landfall, but you can see that this um, sudden emphasized condition was established already in the Pacific here. You can see that it was already established on the 6th of, of uh, 5, 5th and the 6th of August. And we did a numerical experiment. This was run by Professor Zhong Ming Da and his group. We do the with with eddy run and without eddy run with a 